Hey you guys, so I just got done watching 5050 and Ides of March. Um, I know I'm not a movie critic because I'm too nice, but I think those movies are outstanding. Like, I love both of them. 5050 is a, a movie about a guy who gets cancer with a 50% chance of living, hence 5050. But they kind of put not per se a positive spin on it, but more of a, um, they, they, they kind of make cancer funny, which sounds horrible, it does, because cancer's not funny, people, but they, they do a pretty good job, I love, I always say his name wrong, uh, Joseph Gordon Levitt, Levitt Gordon, Joseph Gordon Levitt, I think it is. I can't remember. I know it's one of those. It's what you can't expect me to get it right if he has three names. I mean, that's just it's ridiculous. Don't be selfish. Um, but that I love that movie. I'm thinking about buying it because we just uh, did Redbox. We're pretty cool like that. Um, but oh, I loved it. It's so funny. But yeah, serious. And then we watched Ides of March with Ryan Gosling, George Clooney, Paul Giamatti, insert 600 other awesome names here. It's really like only like a couple more good names, but still. Um, that movie. Uh, I was going to say, if you're not into big into politics, you might not like it. But I don't even think that's true, because there's a lot to do with it that's... Like, you don't have to like politics to like watch this movie. So I'm like, I don't understand anything they're saying because I don't like politics. No, you, it's not like a confusing movie. It's a really good movie. But I also love politics, so I don't know. But it's really good. I like that movie so much. Uh, it kind of shows what politics can do to a person. Like, it, that it can transform a person. And it's really sad. Well, kinda. It's really cool, though, and there's a lot of really cool, like... M this movie, I don't know who was, like, the director of, like, the cinematography. I think that's what it's called. Maybe. Like, who decided what shots to do. But a lot of the shots... No one said, like, anything. Like, there's one I'm thinking of, but I don't want to say it, because it's not exactly a spoiler, but it's a spoiler. It's a spoiler. Um, but no one says anything. It just, like, just pans over Ryan Gosling. Oh, my damn. Like, I get goosebumps, and they <laughs> say words. So powerful. Just with a camera. Oh, he, he's all, he's all, she. Shout out people. Shout out people. Shout out to people. Shouldn't say out of people. Oh, well, well, I'm going to go watch 50-50 again. We also have Moneyball, but it's getting really late, and I'm kind of just turning this on to pass out to. But also, I'll probably stay up late. Fuck, I suck. God, I just, I need to get to sleep. But that's my little re review. Rivety view. On that. Not a very good one. I didn't even give you a synopsis of what I to March is. Okay, a quick one is, um, Ryan Gosling is a, is like the manager, excuse me, his burped, um, his manager for politics. God, I'm so tired. I, I said the word earlier and I can't even think of it right now. But yeah, so, he's like, he's really smart in it. He knows how to play a crowd. But he's also not a bad person, uh, if that makes any sense. You're like, in politics, psh, posh, not possible. But he, um, Ryan Gosling is the, um, uh, George Clooney, who's the governor. He's having him run for president. And it just, like, goes off that, and it's really good. So, yeah, go watch those movies. I can't wait to watch Moneyball tomorrow. So excited. All right, people. Goodbye.